Hello friends, this is Phil Bechtel from the Kids Stories Podcast. Thanks for joining me for another one of our drawing videos. Today, as you can see, we're going to draw our friend Dropkick Kitty Cat. Now, the one that I practiced with, I got a little silly and I drew Dropkick Kitty Cat as being pink. Uh, the next one that we're going to draw together, it might not be so pink. Um, as usual, when we start out a drawing, we, we generally just start with shapes and lines. And today we're going to start with two triangles and a line. So let's start with that now. We draw up and down, and then we draw a quick line, a short line. It doesn't have to be big, and then up and down. Now you can see that my ears are not perfect. Um, they don't look exactly the same either, but I'm going to leave it because I think it's going to look a little bit more authentic, a little bit more like a real cat if it's not so perfect. Now what we do next is we want to connect these lines here and here with sort of a bowl shape to make the cat's chin. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to go down and up. And again, just like your line, my line is not perfect, but I'm not going to jump to erase anything right now. I'm just going to finish my drawing first. The next thing we're going to draw on our picture of Dropkick Kitty Cat is the body. I like to draw the left side first, this side, and kind of round out the back haunches a little bit. So I like to go start out down by the chin like I am. And then I like to go down a little. See how that's a kind of a diagonal line? And then I like to round it a little like that. And then the front part, I like to make it a little more straight, kind of like that. So I've ended the lines kind of, you know, at the same distance from the chin. Now you can see how Dropkick Kitty Cat is really kind of shaping up here. The next thing that we're going to draw are Dropkick's feet. Now we're not going to add a lot of detail to this drawing. These are just going to be general ideas of different body parts, but once we get them all together, it's going to look nice. We're going to be able to see, oh, that's Dropkick Kitty Cat. Cool. So the way we draw the legs here, the back legs, these are the back legs, is we just draw sort of like a hoop up, right? We go up and down. This one too, we go up and down. We just imagine that the kitty cat is sort of sitting, sitting up like we see he's doing. And before we connect these with a line, I like to draw the front feet, the front legs and feet. And again, I don't do a lot of detail. Now you can feel free to add as much detail as you like. Make this drawing your own. But I'm going to show you how I draw it, which is very kind of basic. I just do that and that. And then I connect these lines because then I can interrupt it there. I can stop because I'm imagining that the kitty cat's front feet are in front of the rest of its body there. And if we want, we can draw a little, little detail there, maybe a little there to show that those are where the feet are. Now this is one of my favorite parts of drawing Dropkick Kitty Cat is the tail. We can make the tail as long, as windy as we, and windy as we please. So I'm going to start over here on the left side. I'm going to go up and make it very windy. So that's it. Oh, you just draw a cur big curvy line. Like whenever we draw, it's just shapes and lines, really. And then you just curve it back and draw a parallel line all the way down. Parallel just means it's next to it, kind of. So we make that all the way until we meet the leg here. And now what's missing is our face detail. Now the next piece of detail that we're going to add to our Dropkick Kitty Cat is probably the most important detail that sets it apart from just being kitty cat, right? And that's the headband, the ninja headband. So the ninja headband starts out being just two lines, two straight lines, one, two, up here by the forehead. And then I like to imagine that he's, we can sort of show that it's it was like a piece of string or a piece of headband that was tied in the back and there are these loose pieces. So I just draw like that. A couple of rectangles is kind of what those are. And those are like the loose pieces that are hanging down in back from when it was, um, it was tied. Now if we continue on with our detail, our face detail of Dropkick Kitty Cat, the eyes I like to do just black ovals. Very simple, just like that. One, two, 
they're not perfect. But again, these little mistakes don't show up so much when our drawing is all the way done. So I like to finish my drawing. I like to try to finish my drawing before I make any erasings, right? Now the nose, a lot of people make a kitty cat nose with a triangle and I'm the same way. I kind of like to do a kitty cat nose with just a little triangle like that. Meow. And of course our three big whiskers, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And there's our dropkick kitty cat, just like that. I think it looks pretty great. Now, as usual, I like to outline my drawing. I like to draw on top of my pencil with marker. I have a black marker here that I'm gonna do that with. In fact, I'm gonna start with the headband and the eyes because those are shapes that I like to fill in. So those are parts of the image that are actually gonna be the color black. So I'm just gonna do those Fill those all in just like that. And I'm just gonna kind of go above my drawings, above my pencil lines. The last time we were listening to Dropkick Kitty Cat, Dropkick Kitty Cat had teamed up with Captain Pooper, who was a, a cat who was new to the neighborhood. And they had recently, well, they made an ally, didn't they, in the dog, whose name I believe was Crash. It was Dropkick's next door neighbor. He turned out to be quite a good friend. Dogs and cats living together, how crazy. Um, they, they helped a mouse clan, a little clan of mice that lived in the backyard of, of a friend needed help from a, a gang of alley cats who were up to no good. They were just being bullies. And Dropkick Kitty Cat and his new friend Captain Pooper, they helped to fight off the alley cat gang so that the Ballyhoo mouse clan could live in peace. Now the first Dropkick Kitty Cat that I drew, I would always draw them just, and I wouldn't color them in. It would just be black and white. And I, I really liked that because in the books, um, or excuse me, in the stories, Dropkick Kitty Cat was white because his name was Snowball at first. But lately when I draw Dropkick Kitty Cat, he's many different colors, he's wild, wild colors. And I'm gonna do that again today with you. I think I'm gonna draw Dropkick Kitty Cat yellow with this yellow marker. First, I'm gonna do the nose orange, or should be pink. Yeah, the nose should be pink. Well, should is a dangerous word. You can make your kitty cat nose whatever color you like, or no color at all. So I'm gonna color Dropkick yellow, amarillo. I'd love to see your drawings of Dropkick kitty cat and how you add color or don't add color to your Dropkick pictures. You can have your grown up help you uh, send me an email to kidsstoriespodcast at gmail.com. And you can share your pictures with me. Many of our listeners, they like to go to the website, kidsstoriespodcast.com, and they like to look at everyone's drawings. I like to do it too. We get a lot of drawings, and I like to post them all to the website so everyone can see the ideas that we have. It's a very unique opportunity that we, people from all over the world, because we have listeners from Australia, Israel, Canada, Turkey, where we can all listen to the same story but have different ideas about what these characters look like. And I love it when I get drawings from, from our listeners, from you guys. It's really cool to see what's in your heads. And then I can put them on the website and we can all see. It's really great. So this is what was in my head this morning, a yellow dropkick kitty cat. I hope you really enjoyed our drawings today, and I hope that I get to see your drawings sometime soon. Adios.